and welcome to the Disney Legacy Challenge Season 2, Part 7. So as you can see, our dear Sergio is going for a jog this morning and just, you know, contemplating life and his current situation and the fact that his lovely girlfriend is currently pregnant with their child. And I think that he's got some big things planned for today. So he's just kind of running to let some steam off. Let's go check on the rest of the family. Looks like our dear Bianca is at school. Ginger is practicing her speech for work, which she actually can go ahead and stop and can come get something to eat. Looks like Daphne had the same idea. Oh, wait, girl, you need to be at school. What do you think you're trying? I, I, I can't even. Just go. Go to school. Trying to stay home? I don't think so. Uh, when does she age up? Today. Bianca still has four days. Uh, Sergio's going to take a shower. Olivia and Gavin are having some mid-morning drinks. Wow. Okay, that's a little different for them. Harper is very pregnant and is coming to join her sister for some breakfast. So, ooh, nice royalties. Awesome. So yeah, um, we'll go ahead and have them have a little bit of sisterly chatting. I know she knows she's pregnant, but we can just pretend she's telling her that she's very excited and looking forward to being a mom, even though she was kind of scared at first. We'll ask about her day because she just started a new job. Heartfelt compliment, Sergio. Today is a day that you stay home from work. Leave work early. Yes. And then come upstairs and take a shower. These two are such good friends. I really love it. Uh, maybe tell her a funny story. And compliment her outfit. Because she did change her style quite a bit. She grew up a lot. Join the business career. You know, I feel... And tell me how you guys feel about this before we make any decisions. But I feel like Ginger might be bisexual. And I kind of want to get her with a woman, I think. So maybe her, her future partner can be a lady. Hey, hey, hey. None of that cleaning, Gavin. Ugh. This dishwasher is going to be the death of me. Why don't you come over here and write some books, please? Write a mystery as to why you guys keep cleaning. The mystery of how the dishes keep getting cleaned up. God. Olivia, why don't you come and... Uh, sure, I don't care. Uh, sell this thing. Please and thank you. Lovely. And you can come and do a landscape painting for us. I will take your dish. I will. Oh, you're not done eating. Sergio, you were taking forever in that shower. Go ahead and get something to eat, too. Ginger needs to fill out reports. She'll go upstairs and use her sister's computer. Uh, where is that again? Web? Yes, fill out reports. Look, she knows. She doesn't clean up after herself. She's like, that's my sister's job. I'm not going to do it. Uh, why don't we change you into something different? Mm, that's kind of cute. What's this one? No, I like the other one. Every day, too. What, what the heck? Did I not put the couch back? Did I take the catch, couch out? Oh, we have all kinds of stuff in our inventory. Sell this, sell this. We could put this knife block in here. I'm actually tired of them always using this counter, so I'll put it there. Sell this, sell 
this and we'll keep the party decorations. I can't believe our couch just got deleted. I don't know how that happened. I don't remember which couch we had. Uh, not surfaces. Comfort. I think we had this one in blue. I mean, don't quote me on it. I'm not 100%, but it'll, it'll do. Okay. Sergio's gonna get something to eat. Uh, you can come talk to Sophia. Share the big news. Uh, gossip. I feel like becoming pregnant has made Harper a lot nicer than she was before. She wasn't exactly the nicest person. Let's go check on Ginger. Working away. Looks very happy. Check on Gavin. How is Gavin doing? Oh, he's got plenty of days to live. Perfect. We snuck him a age potion so that he couldn't age up when we didn't want him to because he was getting up there in the years. Yeah, look, Sergio's almost an adult. Harper's quite a bit younger than him, so he's ready for a family. You can tell. He looks pretty happy and content. What are you doing, Harper? Hey, hey, hey. No. Thank you. Yeah, I know it stinks, but you are not Cinderella, therefore you cannot clean. Uh, why don't you go pee, because you're going to have to go really bad in a minute. And then, Sergio, are you quite done? Okay, that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Just wait for your girlfriend to go to the bathroom. Whose phone is ringing? What do you want? Congratulations on your recent birthday. Well, thank you. Sergio, you're going to come ask your girlfriend out on a date. So our dear Sergio took Harper to the ever romantic, uh, oh God, our pills are so expensive. Um, the ever romantic Vaughn Haunt estate and they're going to come over to this lovely area over here takes her a little bit longer than him because she is super pregnant. I mean, she's in her second trimester. She's pretty big for her second trimester. She can only have one kid, though. Two, four, six, seven. Huh. It's going to be a big baby. Oh. There we go. I wish we could, like, have a wedding just, like, right here. Because, like, look at this. You see that waterfall back there? And then, like, the sun is, like, glistening off of the pond. And there's a flipping butterfly right there. And there's just, like, fountains and archways and trees. Like, you can almost smell the flowers and things here. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Anyways. Uh, so she's like, what are we doing here? Oh, what is he going to do by himself? Chat with her. It's not very romantic, but okay. Um, but yeah, she's like, my back hurts. I don't want to be here. There's so much walking. And he's just going to be like, uh, let's ask to feel the baby. Aww. And then we'll profess our undying love to her. And then we will give her a big kiss. And of course, I'm sure you guessed it. We're going to have our dear Sergio propose. Yay, she's so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she is probably not light with that baby in there. He's like, oh man. That's funny. Um. We'll go ahead and have him kiss her cheek. Rudy. Rudy. 
and express her his fondness of her and embrace her. They're excited. And I'm going to wait until after the baby's born to have the wedding. Not because I think there's anything wrong with getting married pregnant, but uh, I just don't think Harper would do that. Harper is someone who, like, wants to to give 110% all the time and her appearance is very important to her so I feel like she would be someone who would definitely want to wait to get married until she got her quote unquote body back if that makes sense um so yeah I'm not meaning it to like offend anybody I personally have no issues with it but just for the sake of the character I don't think it uh, suits her to get married while pregnant so I'm gonna have her and him come over here together and sit because she's pregnant and you know standing is hard on her we'll just finish out their date maybe make a move her belly's cutting through her skirt and right, we can have a make out a little bit they're a really cute couple. I'm glad we sabotaged his relationship with Siobhan. <laughs> Alright, and she's pretty hungry, so I'm just going to go ahead and end the date early. And send these two lovebirds home to announce the exciting news to their family. All right. Aw, so cute. I'm going to go ahead and have him use the bathroom. And I'm going to say that when he proposed to her, he said, hey, remember that inheritance I've been telling you about? Well, we uh, have a house to move into. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, talk to her mom and dad and let them know that she is indeed moving out and ready to start her own family. So should be exciting stuff for her. crazy how far we've come from living in like a tent or whatever it was and like a tiny shack to here I don't even think we had tents when I first started did we no we did because I remember her and Gavin sleeping in a tent Aww. let's go ahead and we'll share the big news but we'll pretend it's about the engagement and the house not about the baby because she already knows about the baby Oh no, she's kind of sad. She's like, oh, don't leave. But she's excited for her. And then we're going to give her a big hug. Nice. And then let's give Gavin a big hug. I guess we should probably share the big news with him too. If he quit cleaning. I just realized what you were doing, sir. Yeah, put them down. Put them down. Put the, There's nothing even for me to cancel. Put them down. Really? Okay. Girl, you got to... Like, seriously, I know you're miserable. Clean up all this stuff. Don't eat that. Clean up all this stuff so everybody stops trying to clean up. And then come use the bathroom. Harper, she's coming. She's just waddling awfully slow. So we're going to have her share the big news with her dad and give him a hug. Again, with the walking. Did I have the wrong girl clicked? Where are you going? Jesus. All right, that is that is what she wrote. So we're going to go ahead and move out the happy family. And I just wanted to show you this really quick. And also, I forgot to tell you. So in the last part, I've been getting comments about having these to adopt. And as you can see, they did. They adopted a little girl. I'm pretty sure her name's Skylar, if I remember correctly. So they did adopt. I just am terrible and forgot to show you. But look, here's the little family. This is Emmett's mom and dad. And then here is Sam and their, and Sophia and their daughter, Reagan, I believe. 
And then we have Dexter's little family. We have Emmett and Sebastian's little family. And then right here we have Sergio and Harper and they're just so cute and I can't wait for, you know, Ginger, Daphne, and of course Bianca to have their own little families as well. It's just going to be so awesome. I'm very excited. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and place these guys in the world and I will be right back. All right, the household is two people smaller. Ginger, um, I was going to say Ginger would get that room, but I think, I think I'm going to give this room to Daphne and then leave this room as, um, oh, Bianca's room. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to have her come and clean up this stuff. I haven't changed Ginger's room. I don't think I'm going to. I might just get rid of the backpack and make it a little more grown up. But I think I'm going to go ahead and have um, Daphne age up really quick. And then I'm going to... Hey! Oh, the cleaning! Would you stop? Just set it down. Put the plates down. This family is really, really sweet. But they, they got to stop. Okay, um, I'm going to have her age up really quickly, is what I was saying, and then I'm going to have Ginger go out to the bar and see if we can meet any potential suitors. So, yeah, um, we're going to have her clean that up and make a cake really quick. Just make a chocolate cake. Oh, Bianca is so pretty. Oh my god, look at all those dishes. I would hate to have your job, girl. Okay, let's come and sell this painting. And why don't you do a small impressionism painting? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have Ginger settle down right away. She might really, now the toilet's broken, she might uh, go on a couple dates before she decides. But then again, you never know. Like, we might meet the right sim for her and that'll be it. So we'll have to see. Awesome. Olivia just finished a masterpiece that we're going to sell to the art gallery. Please. They're like totally ignoring me and they just keep going, what, doing what they want to do. Add birthday candles. For now, I'm just going to have her sleep up in this bed. Daphne, I'm sorry, girl, but nobody cares about your birthday, so you're just going to have to come blow out the candles by yourself. Uh, blow out the candles. Looks like Ginger is sticking around. It's getting kind of late. Maybe I'll just take Ginger out tomorrow. Ugh, I don't know. Kind of like she was going to sneeze. It's pretty good from that distance. All right. The trusty wiggle. Oh, my God. Okay. That's not at all what I was expecting for Daphne, but alrighty then. Uh... And jealous. Oh, lovely. That's that's lovely. Go ahead and take a piece of cake. Oh, guys. That's two kind of evil children. Okay, guys. I'm not going to take out Ginger because she just got really sick. So uh, let's order some medicine. Pay the bills actually would probably be good to order some medicine to take. Not place in the world. Don't place it in the world. Uh, take medicine. And I guess I'll just have to take her out in the next part. So I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
and like I said in the next part well oh my goodness look at her eyes though okay anyways in the next part uh, we will take out ginger I will give Daphne a makeover and we will maybe have a wedding it depends on if Harper has the baby or not so we will have to see on that one but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end the part here I hope you guys enjoy